Welcome to another video from Site Tech Intermountain. In this Earthworks training video, I'm going to show you guys how to load up uh, a design that's called 3D line work, and I'm going to show you how to line up on it, to select it, how to extend it, and use that file type. So as you can see out here, we've got an uh, open field in our back lot here where we've built a design. On the design here, I've got Site Tech Wheeler training site. I'm going to leave it on design and I'm going to come down to designs that I have here with my different finish grade utilities. I'm going to hit this proposed utilities, which is my 3D line work. We're going to open that. As soon as I open that and zoom out, you can see that I don't have a sandy background surface I'm working with. It is literally just the line work that came in. All the black lines right there are storm drain. And then I've also got storm drain that's to the left here on the bottom right and over further to the right on the project. And if I zoom in, you can see all the blue lines, which is water lines, and then the green lines, which is the sewer lines. And I do have some yellow lines in there, and those yellow lines represent the gas lines. These are elevated lines, so they actually have three dimension to them. So in the top screen here, you can see where I zoom around here. I've got a storm drain line that's right out in front of me here. And you can see that the rim elevation is up high. That's not the actual flow line for the box itself. We didn't draw boxes in on this one, but you can. But the black line that you see there is the actual elevated flow line that runs from a drain box up there down to the pond, which is to my right. So in order to select these, when you first come in here, you need to come down to the bottom here where it shows this blue icon. It's automatically saying, hey, what line would you want to start with? I'm going to use this black storm drain line that's right out in front of the excavator here. So on this blue icon, when I touch it, it's going to come in on, on the main screen right here, plan view, you can select whatever one you want. And if you had elevations and boxes for the bottom of those actual rims and bottom of box, you can add those in. I'm going to touch this line right here. You can see the arrows are facing down, which was meaning which way it goes, um, the line string goes. So if we were to offset left or right, we would want to adjust that. This surface width gives us the ability to change how wide that sandy background is in the back, the surface itself from the flow line elevation. It defaults to 6562. You can change that. We'll change that to uh, maybe 10 feet. The other option I was going to show you here is this advanced options right here. If you drop this down, you can see that there's an A on that side, which is the very beginning of that line, and a B on this one, which is the very end of the other line over there. Let's say I want to start digging up here to the left, but I want to dig a little bit further. We'll go ahead and extend that right now. So if you hit this drop down bar, you can see point A extension and point B extension. If I go ahead and put in uh, let's say an extra five feet on point A, it's going to build it out and it changes it to a dotted line versus a solid line to tell you that it's projected it out at that same slope. It doesn't go flat, it stays at the same projected slope. Once we're good there, we can go ahead and hit apply. The reason why I stopped is I wanted to show you that these green crosshair lines that most people turn off when you're doing pipe work, it's kind of helpful to get the alignment of the machine lined up with the utility line. And it's not the undercarriage. As I spin, you can see it's the actual alignment of the boom and stick and machine. So if you're having a hard time lining up on any of this, know to use those green crosshairs as you line up on it. So as I zoom in right here, it's and on both of them, you know, with the 3D, sometimes you can kind of get lined up. But with those green crosshairs, they're very helpful to actually get set up on it. So I'm going to move just to the side a little bit more here. We'll come to the very end of this uh, box right here. You can pick whatever views you want. Um, sometimes 3D is kind of cool to see it. Plan view is cool to see it. But if you go to the 3D or the three box option, you can set it to where you've got that one. I'm going to change that to um, cross section to kind of help line us up on it. 
I can do it a couple different ways. I can line myself up like that. I can line myself up by watching the red in the middle. And I'm going to leave the carrot, which is that red focus point, right in the middle for a couple reasons. I'm going to show you here. One is the offline. You can use the offline to get me my lined up. You can see I have no boxes out there, no stakes, nothing to get me started on this. I just have cut fill. Right now, the vertical offset is set at zero, which is actual flow line. So if I'm going to do any digging below flow line for bedding sand or gravel, whatever, I need to add a vertical offset in. I'm going to add that in right now at a 0 0.50 for six inches. I'm going to put 0.5 and I'm going to put a minus. Go ahead and hit apply. As soon as I come out, you can see that now I've got the black line, dotted line, which was my flow line, and now my new surface and a cut fill. One other thing I'm going to show you, other than using the offline to help get yourself on that, you can see as I go left and right to keep yourself on, is to turn on the light bar at the very top here. So in the menu here, you can come and you can see that you've got light bars. So in light bar, you can turn on the center, which is going to be the very top of it, and it's left and right. So now I've got the light bar at the top. Now I can either watch offline, watch the screen, or I can watch the light bars at the top. So once I feel like I've extended far enough out, I got about a two foot cut. And as I dig, you can see that I can keep myself lined up on it. I'm going to kind of keep an eye on my uh, top light bar for alignment. Keep in line, line with that red line. A couple different ways you can do it. Now, you can see that I didn't go all the way to the very end here of where I extended it, but I know based on what I'm seeing right here that I'm beyond the edge of the box, right? So if I actually was going to set a drain box there, I'm far enough. But I just wanted to show you that you can extend the elevations. So once you get down here, we can go ahead and start cutting it as close to grade as we can get it. We'll go ahead and start checking grade. So as I go out there and touch down, you can see basically zero, if not just a hair low. We can come back here without the autos on. We're not going to have the autos on in this video. You can see I'm basically grade right there. So I would reach out myself and just make one more nice clean pass. Clean it up. We can set our box, spin around, grab our gravel if I have that scenario here, and lay it. We'll go ahead and change this to plan view. So in plan view, you can use those to reference where you're at for backing up. Because I don't have anything painted on the ground behind me. So as I set my bucket down, you can see that I don't know exactly where it's at, but it's over there. So if anything, I need to actually be cutting over a little bit more. However you want to do it, but those green crosshairs or just referencing, sometimes just reaching out there and looking, okay, boom, right there, little scratch. However, you as an operator, but the 3D option makes it so much faster. So as soon as you're done with that one, if you want to change to another pipeline, you would hit that icon at the bottom right there, and you would move on to whatever the next one is. So for example, this one over here, you would simply move on. So this is a basic training video from Site Tech Inner Mountain on how to use 3D line work to set it up, set the screen up, and actually start digging with nothing in, in reference out here.